Hi, welcome to Haru Apps, podcast number four. This is the last segment of my podcast, and I'm going to talk about uh, Win to Flash. And this is a really neat program. If you want to install a Windows on your netbook, uh, you're kind of out of luck nowadays because there's no CD-ROM now anymore um, on the little portable laptops. So what this will allow you to do is to put Windows, um, so your original disk, and to uh, a USB drive. Now, you need a, a USB drive that is 4 gigs or more, and uh, your Windows disk, and you're all set. Now, while we were... Um, I, well, actually, while I was recording this podcast, I was trying to access the website uh, the original for this program at uh, win2flash.com, and it was down. So I don't know if it's down forever or it was just temporary. So I found this, uh, actually, this link um, from Broadersoft. I actually download a lot from these guys. Um, now, I, I'm not a big fan, though, because that's... I wouldn't call it spyware, but uh, they have a lot of advertisement and they try to, you know, change your home page, as you can see right now. They want to install a toolbar. I guess it's just the publicity, right? Um, you just uncheck all of these and you click next and you're all set. And the file being downloaded is called Novicorm or no Novicorm or sorry, Novicorp Win to Flash 0 0.7 Beta. So once this is done, um, you'll find your file. Um, I actually had a hard time to, uh, I had to look for the name because it didn't put it in my original download folder. So just look for this name and unzip it. And we have Win to Flash. So I'm going to click on it. And I have my Windows CD installed and I have my uh, USB drive also installed. So I'm just going to look at the letter of my Windows. It is F because it's going to ask me. Actually, I should have asked. I should have looked at my USB drive as well. Okay. My USB drive is K. So I'm going to click on the wizard. And um, I'm going to click Next. And now it's uh, asking me what's the path for my Windows. So we said it was uh, F. So I'm going to pick F. And I'm going to select my USB drive, which is the letter K. So I'm going to put K here. And it says here, turning off your antivirus may speed up the transfer um, if you want. So I'm going to click Next. And... Um, all right, the ter term of conditions. I'm not sure. It says 180-day license. Um, maybe because this is a beta version. I, I am not sure. Uh, but you can read the uh, term of agreement and hit continue. Now, it tells me right now that this is w this will format all my, uh, my disk, my, my USB drive. So make sure you don't have any important data on it. Um, and I'm going to click OK. So this is going to take some time. So, um, but once you are done, um, you have a bootable USB drive in your hand. So what you'll need to do to be able to install Windows on your on your uh, laptop on your netbook is to go in the BIOS of of the netbook, and um, usually this is done. Um, well, depending on the models, you can look in the. Uh, usually when it boots, it'll say. Uh, configuration or menu setup press F1 or delete or depending on on your your system and uh, you will enter into the BIOS and you go to the boot sequence and the boot sequence you've put number one um, USB device and uh, next time you just save the changes and the next time you boot your system with your USB key connected to your port it will start loading Windows like if it was a CD-ROM and uh, it will install Windows normally. So I hope you found this useful and uh, thank you to one of our uh, viewer that actually um, submitted this program, told me about it and um, I really appreciate that. Any feedback are welcome. 
And thank you very much for watching. This concludes um, podcast number four. And uh, join me next week for more podcasts. And you can visit my website at www.heruapps.com for more freeware and good tutorials. Thank you for watching.